Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Fong. So today I'll be showing you how you can plot Bitcoin prices in real time using Python. So the two main libraries that we'll be using today is uh, Python's uh, matplotlib for live plotting and also the crypto compare and which is essentially an API service that fetches trading data uh, regarding cryptocurrencies such as the prices, the uh, trading volume, etc. And as you can see, the, my time zone is now um, uh, 10.53 p.m. So the graph is essentially plotting every uh, 1,000 milliseconds. So the graph is updated uh, every second. Considering Bitcoin, Bit Bitcoin is uh, gaining a lot of tractions recently and on honestly a lot of hype, I thought it would be a cool little project to show you how you can monitor the prices more closely and keep an eye on the uh, volatility involved in those cryptocurrencies. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the whole tutorial will be separated into two parts. The first part being the data generations, which means uh, we have to generate uh, data related to the Bitcoin prices in real time. We have to fetch those data. And the second part is to actually plot the data in real time using the matplotlib. So let's take care of the first part. The first part will use uh, crypto compare, which is essentially an API that um, queries uh, cryptocurrency prices using the um, API that this company Crypto Compare has uh, offered, and as you can see, and uh, you can just do uh, pip install Crypto Compare to get started, and then just import it. So there are um, clear documentations in this page. I will put it in the description in case you want to explore a little bit more. And let's get started, shall we? So let's import um, Crypto Compare. Let's do um, crypto compare and then get price. So we will need two arguments. The first uh, parameter will be the currency that we are interested in, which is um, BTC. And BTC is the ticker symbol of um, Bitcoin, for those of you who don't, don't know. And the second argument will be the currency that we will like. Uh, the Bitcoin price to be ex expressed in terms of so it's USD so let's run this okay so uh, it turns out that it returns a JSON file in Python a JSON file is called a dictionary so how do we get the just the price only we can do that by specifying the header which is BTC in this case and then the US dollar. Okay. So we get the price only. So we have to make sure that um, the prices is updated every second or yeah, every second. So let's try to run a infinite loop to see uh, whether the price will update itself. Okay, as you can see, there are price fluctuations, and it turns out that this API is uh, returning correct, accurate prices. And for the second part, let's do um, let's do uh, get the let's get the full name of the cryptocurrency so we can try to do by do that by crypto compare and then get coin list and then we can specify the cryptocurrency that, that we are concerned with and then let's see so uh, as a result, it turns out that the um, response is also in JSON file, but uh, we're only concerned with the full name. So we can just specify the header full name, and then we can 
just get BTC. We can try others, other other um, cryptocurrency as well. Let's try Ethereum, ETH. There we go. So let's try to make this to a function that that will help us uh, plot later on. So let's do uh, define a function get um, crypto price. So it takes in a cryptocurrency and also a currency that that you want the price to be expressed in terms of, and then we can just do return um, the crypto compare get price. We can just return this line. Okay, so the BTC is the cryptocurrency. The currency is US dollar. The Bitcoin is the cryptocurrencies. And the currency is also the US dollar. Okay, and the second function is define a uh, function that gets the full name of the cryptocurrency. So we need the current cryptocurrency as an input. And then we can just do return crypto compare, get coin list, and then notice that the full name will not be changed and only this part will be changed. So it's just cryptocurrency. So cool. Let's let's run these two functions just to make sure it works so we can do uh, print get crypto price uh, BTC make sure they are uh, both in strings and then print get crypto name and ETH So cool, we get the two important data. So for the next video, I'll be showing you how you can uh, run this get crypto prices in, in a loop every second so that uh, we generated the price and then we plot the price um, in matplotlib using an animated function. So see you in the next video.